everybody and welcome back to another games with gold game impression video so we're gonna go ahead and look at uh, lamentum but before we do I wanted to apologize for the two videos I had ready from last week if you guys are on Twitter you guys know that I had two videos ready but it just became madhouse around here and unfortunately um, we finally finished the repairs so we're good on that the house is finally repaired but yeah with everything going on and everyone over at the house it was just really hard to make videos last week and even though I made two videos it was really hard to find the time to edit them so I appreciate you guys' patience but yeah let's go ahead and uh get into it let me just save Normal difficulty, yes. Map slash inventory. You aim with the left, attack with, or you use item with the right, and trigger. Dodge. Walk with the left, and sprint with the LB, looks like. The shortcuts you can make for the B, Y, and X. Is action and look. All right, and thank you guys for uh, watching. I appreciate you guys just uh, taking your time to actually watch my videos. Really appreciate it. I love what I do. It's getting dark, and Elisa is late again. Elisa or Alisa? I think I'll take a walk while I wait for her. This is something shining up here. It's a coin? Yeah. Might as well talk to this bloke up here. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Excuse me, young man. I was observed in my book and didn't see you come in. A good book makes it easy lose track of time. What are you reading? If you don't mind me asking. The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. The Tale of Prince Prosperos, futile efforts to avoid death, a task we all know is impossible. The prince didn't lose hope. I admire that. You shouldn't confuse hope with impossible longing. Death is inevitable for all of us. But you are still young. Ignore my melancholic ramblings. I won't bother you anymore, sir. Uh, have a good day. Uh, good afternoon. I said good day. Uh, can't tell I'm still kind of uh, still waking up. Dead Robin. Poor bird. Something up here we can take. Take the rose, yes. I mean, why not, right? Take your lilac, yes. Victor, sorry I'm late. I couldn't wait to see you again. Without you, this garden wouldn't be nearly as beautiful. Always fl so flattering, Victor. Now, I understand how you got my father to accept our marriage. Well, I'm a resourceful man. I would do anything to be by your side. Fortunately, I agreed. If not, You'd still be waiting for me to grant you our first dance. You would have missed my wonderful dance steps. 
I'll remind you that you stepped on my feet several times, regardless. I'll never forget that night. And I'll never forget how well you played that piano. By the way, how was today's class? I'm getting better. But you know, Mrs. Whitefield is very strict and I always finish late. Don't worry. With your beauty, a long wait is always rewarded. Victor, you're going to make me blush. Those were happy days for us. Life seemed to smile at us, and I was lucky to have her by my side. But soon our world turned gray. I should see if Elisa is well. It's almost time for her medicine. So we're going to first do the usual, and we're going to uh, on these games, and I'm going to always... Oh, oh, dear Mr. Hartwell, I'm afraid I have ill tidings. As you are requested, I have contacted, contacted some of the greatest medical minds with the intention to finding a potential cure for your wife's affliction. Appli application? Application. Unfortunately, I must inform you that despite my best efforts, no effective treatment has been found. Your wife is not long for this world. Treasure the time you have. However, you should continue administering the medicine I prescribe to her daily and increase the dosage if her pain persists or increases. Much to my regret, it is my duty to prepare you for the inevitable outcome Inevitable. I love that word for some reason Dr. R. Abrahamson is this the nun here dear Victor I cried when I received your letter Alyssa is like a sister to me my heart is broken I still remember those day happy days we spent together when we were girls she always the most darling daring and we got into such trouble because of her I never imagined that Alyssa could fall to such an illness she was always so strong do not lose hope Victor Alyssa is a fighter and I would pray every night that she overcomes this disease. You must never give up. She needs you now more than ever. With all my love, Leonor Fiera. I think we gotta go up here. It's a dark and cold night. There's those are the windows, okay. <sighs> so they're all windows. Can we go through here? Okay, we can. Can we also go through here? Whatever this is, take the firewood. Yes. I was say, if we press LB, we should be able to run, and it is. We can actually run in this. So it's it's a plus. And that's how you dodge. Is RB okay? How are you, love? Have you been able to get any sleep? Hello, Victor. I barely slept at all. I'm <laughs> so tired. I hate lying awake for hours, but no matter what, I cannot fall asleep. 
You need to rest as much as possible. The doctor said that <laughs> it's important that you rest in order and recover your strength. The doctor in awe of his horrible medicine. How long will I have to suffer have to suffer his useless remedies? Alisa. The doctor's doing his best to help you recover. <laughs> yes. I guess I should follow his advice. You'll see. Soon, you'll get better. I'm going to prepare <laughs> your medicine. Try to rest. Take your medicine. Alice's medicine. The doctor told us to mix a few drops with hot water. Alyssa used to play the piano before falling ill. Anything over here? No. Nope. Did we see a sink in here? I think we did. Only a few embers remain. It needs more firewood. Okay, so how do we get an inventory? Wrong one. Is it start? Yeah. Equipped. My bad. Yes. Yes. Now remember quickly we take this, combine it with this, a cup of hot water with a few drops of Alyssa's medicine. I was gonna say Alyssa. Alyssa for some reason doesn't sound right. He wanted to press RB to run instead of LB. Okay, so this is where we... Here's your medicine. It is very hot. Take it slowly. Victor, if I die... Alisa, <laughs> please, don't say that. I'm sorry. I just don't want to see you suffer because of me. feel so hope helpless. Alyssa grows weaker with each passing day. I can't bear it. I can't lose her. I would do anything to save her life. I'll find a way to heal her. I swear. For months, a rumor circulated amongst the highest circles of society. There's a rumor of a strange count who lives far from civilization. It is said that he's a master of forgotten sciences. That he possesses knowledge beyond comprehension. Stripped of all hope, I decided to contact him. To my surprise, he accepted our request and invited us to his mansion to study Alice's illness. Now, our destiny is in the hands of a man we've never met. Count Edmund Steinrod, and a place only spoken of in whispers. Grab Hill Manor. So we have arrived. So we go up and knock and see where he is. Give me a second. 
Welcome to Grave Hell, sir. I sincerely apologize for not coming to greet you. We didn't hear your carriage arrive through the storm. Don't, don't worry, I understand. I'll take care of Lady Hallwell and ask her to your room. Your luggage will be brought up shortly. The count awaits you in his office. It's the first door on the left hallway. It's late. I don't want to disturb Lord Steinrod. Oh, do not fret about that. The count has a habit of working late into the night. I won't keep him waiting then. Oh, that's much better. Oh man, I needed that drink. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Put it close to me. Here we go. Welcome to Grave Hill. You must be Mr. Hartwell. It is a pleasure to meet you. Please, sir. It's Victor. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Victor. Excuse me for arriving up at this late hour. Due to my wife's illness, we have suffered some delays during the trip. No need to apologize. I'm well aware of the vital importance of your visit here. Eager to meet your wife and begin studying her illness. But before I do, you are aware that my methods don't follow the strict rules of uh, governing conventional science and medication. Yes, we have long since given up hope in conventional medicine. I've heard that you are in possession of great knowledge and that your methods work miracles. It is true that I've achieved a great many things, but I have formed no miracles. I merely unshackled myself from the bonds of conventional and mediocrity. I have spent my life acquiring knowledge and learning the long forgotten sciences. Now Victor, it's to me sincerely. How far are you willing to go to heal your wife? I I would do anything. Excellent. Say no more. It's late. You should rest. Tomorrow will be a long day. I thank you very much for your hospitality and for the opportunity you offered us. Have a good night, Lord Steinrad. Have a good night, Victor. Okay, so there's the wife, I believe. Victor, I'm sure I forgot something in the carriage, but I don't remember what. I'm exhausted. Don't worry, I'll go find it right now. You have to rest. A wedding ring. How strange, Alyssa never takes off a ring. Okay, where's Alyssa now? The door is closed. <laughs> she deserves everything. You did the right thing. Sorry? I don't understand you. Everything is ready in your chamber, sir. Room is on the first floor. I hope everything is to your liking. Your wife awaits you. This is on the first floor.
Seems that the stairs lead to the basement. Oh, ooh, no, thank you. Door is closed. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to the basement yet. Door is closed. Okay, so where exactly is this? Chained locks and everything else. Is this the first floor? I think we went up before, though. Why do I feel like I've lost every something be forever? Calm down. I found your ring. I have it right here. You don't have it, Victor. You never had it. Uh, Alyssa? Let the games begin. Blood. I'm injured. Someone has bandaged the wound. What happened to me? Alyssa. I have to find her. Take the blood in them. Uh, yeah. We believed his lies all this time. How foolish we were. Is there any hope for us? Maybe. Maybe there's something in the Count's office that can get us out of here. I have banished your wound as best I can. I left something on the table to ease the pain. I'll close the doors to keep you safe. Please don't don't leave this room. It's written in shaky handwriting. It could be from Alyssa. Alyssa. How long have we been here? I don't remember anything. It is just like Alyssa's. But it's dirty and run down. Take the ink. I still feel confused and disoriented. I can use this ink to write down my thoughts. Maybe it will help me remember. Now the question is, is what's going on? Hit the lockpick, yes. Someone has broken the mirror. The traces of blood between the shards. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't like I don't wanna hear the smell of that bathroom. is closed but the lock seems weak I could try to force it okay so this is where this comes in right this is a half bottle it's a wheelchair and a dirty one at that what's this it's cracking the wall. Is that a girl on the other side? Hello? My name is Victor. Why are you crying? Are you alone? 
Be brave. I'll get out of here and help you, I promise. I don't think you're gonna do that, buddy. Yeah, you go through there, it says. Door is closed. Did I just hear someone banging on a door? Oh God, what is, what, what is that creature? Okay, we're gonna go up here. Back down. My God, what the hell is going on? What kind of abomination was that? I must be very careful. Victor is near a monster. His physical and mental stamina will suffer, and he can't run indefinitely to escape. So, uh, here we go. Found a doll. It's very beautiful. Is it yours? Seems like she has stopped crying. Someone has unlocked the door from the other side. Who we wait? Girl, looks familiar to me. What happened to uh, Grave Hill? I can't remember anything. I must go to Lord Steinrod's office. Alyssa must, may be there. Oh, blocked out by boxes that we could have moved. God, I love it. It's a very deep hole. I can't go through here. Door is closed. Okay, so how do we just get through here? Oh, you push. Okay. That makes sense. You hold A. Dad. Is there nothing in here I can look at? No. Came here for no reason. Remember the statue, the white lady, but now it's different. What is that creature? Yes, take that. I believe we can combine the two. Yeah, awesome. close there may be another way in the statue is called the white lady God, another strange beast is tied and hung with a rope. What are we going through here? Mm. Oh no, you're injured. That thing it attacked me. You're losing a lot of blood. I must find a way to stop the bleeding. No, no, please, sir. Listen to me. Everything changed while we slept. Those things attacked Lewis. They tore him apart in front of me. It was horrible. I was so scared, sir. I closed the door and threw the key into the fire. I thought no one was left alive, I swear. But I didn't 
But did I hear awful screams coming from below? I'm sorry. Sorry, I threw the key into the fire. I didn't want to that door to open ever again. Got a lamp now. Let me check this door by door. I hope nothing's in it. Oh, wow. But I don't think we have a lock pick. Nope. It's another one. Yep. So we're looking for two lock picks for this room. Take the ornament. Is this like a save room? It's old and deteriorated. The sticks look fragile and would not serve as a weapon. Alright, so this is like the item box. So yeah, this is very, very Resident Evil Whisk with mixed in with Silent Hill. This may be a longer playthrough. I hope you guys don't mind. Wait, was was that hallway always there? Ammunition. Hold on a second. We gotta look at that picture again. So, there's a weapon here, but... No. Oh, man. We can't get there yet. I was hoping we would, because I'm not going to lie. This is giving me chills going down here. It's closed. We need something special for that. Poor man. He's passed away. There's something I'm missing. afraid I'll forget everything. Time passes differently in this place and slowly my memory is blurring and fading. It's strange. There is something inside me that gives me the strength to continue. I will continue writing. Perhaps it will help keep my sanity. We got tongues. To help us with the uh, fire. Poor man, his body is covered with rooms. Uh, he must have blood to death. He's gonna come back to life.
No, in a way. That actually took me like maybe almost six minutes, maybe seven minutes to get back to where I was. Okay, so we can't take that saber. Unless we probably put candles on all these. And we can't get to that door at the top. I had to recollect everything, so. As you see, let's look at it. Hmm. So I think we can use this for the tongs. I think that's the main reason we are here. Is to get this up here. Okay. Oh, we gotta pick it up. Heavy key. Look at it. It's heavy and partially rusted. I doubt it, but I'm gonna try it up here. There's like a tile goes in it. Nope. Yeah, that's what I remembered. Okay, the tile goes in there. I'm gonna try it on this door. You really want me to go down in the basement, don't you? Oh no. We don't have a weapon. Come on. This isn't right here, though. That's what you need for the gun. Who's there? My name is Victor. Who are you? Victor! Yes, I remember you. I've seen you at Grave Hill with your wife. I'm looking for her. Have you seen her? I haven't seen her. But look around. It's useless to surely she is already dead. Listen to me. I think she could have gone to Count Steinroth's office. Not going to stop until I find her. God's office is always closed. It's expressly forbidden to enter. Nevertheless, maybe I can help you if you help me. I need a rope. Can you give me one? I'll see what I can do. I promise nothing. Basically what we're doing is, um, I would be running, but I do not want anyone to notice. I'm going to 
read this first because I don't trust whatever that thing is up there. Ah, fooey. So now we need to find. Um, storage box. So, So, no, okay. So we went down here and there was a key on the bed. And what I'm going to suppose that we find this, that, and we find another engraved rune. Something has to be down here. That one's locked. That's it. What the dude was hiding behind. Jimmy, what an unbearable smell! It smells like rotten meat. Was this the Grave Hill kitchen? Like rotted right meat. What animal does this belong to? Well, we got a knife. At least we can fight back. And pull that out while I'm thinking about it. So the best object for this is to get kind of close for me. We're fine still. We got rid of everything in here. Or so I thought I did. Let me see what else is in here. Ah. I said be right back. And those fucking creatures attacked me. So, holy crap.
just in case. Still doing fine, okay. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is fucking insane. Did I even get rid of everything I need to? Yeah, I did. This isn't up here. Because of how long the video is already going, um, and because I, I gotta work on a computer real quick, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, sorry about the dog in the background, he's being annoying, but yeah, uh, not bad so far, but with most like classic horror games if you can if you're older and you're old enough to know what classic horror games are uh you would know that they're slow but very atmospheric and this is right up the alley this reminds me of silent hill and resident evil put together i'll say right here Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys actually liked the video. I know I didn't get that far. If you guys want to see more, comment down below and I'll hop back on this. I would be more than happy to. But yeah, until uh, next time, thank you guys for watching. Be kind to each other. Like uh, and subscribe if you guys can. And also um, comment. Like I said, comment down below if you guys want to see another part to this. I would love to do it. Until next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.